Hello YouTube once again, welcome back to Cryptbeards 15 where we are currently unravelling the mystery that perplexed us at the end of last episode, which presumably you watched yesterday because you're such a dedicated viewer, aren't you? Well done viewer, congratulations, you're a good viewer, aren't you? Oh, who's a good viewer? Oh, very good viewer. Oh, what a lovely little viewer. Oh, is that, am I patronising you? Oh well, never mind, it's too late now, I've done it. I've broken that boundary. I've gone beyond the Rubicon of patronisation. Dear, oh dear. Oh, of course, many of you could also go beyond the Rubicon of a different kind of patronisation and check out my Patreon. Wow, that was an amazing little intro, wasn't it? I managed to do all sorts of crazy shit in there. I'm amazed I even managed to bring the Patreon without it seeming out of place. Incredible. You don't have to, by the way. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not a requirement. You will see everything for free. Don't worry. Uh, where was I? Um, yes, we were solving a mystery. What had happened to Nunchaku Chaku? Because he was in a sorry old state last episode. He was having a rare old time, a rare old time, a rare old time in a state of, I think, berserkery or something, wasn't he? Or depression? Hmm. Within the last week, he felt loneliness after being away from family for too long. Putting three noble roles on his shoulders was too much. I think that's what's happened. Maybe just taking away those other responsibilities, whatever it was, the organising responsibilities, no, the... Um, yeah, the record keeping responsibilities. Maybe that has improved his mood and he's no longer shuffling around the fortress going, Oh, woe is me. My life is a never ending stream of misery. Oh, oh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that's how he was going. Maybe not. We don't know. What's he doing right now, though? Let's have a little look at this. It says he's managing work orders. Now, I think. Let's just check how good he is as a manager, because it may be good to just just have him specialise as the broker. Because I think that was the thing that Nunchaku Chaku gave a shit about when choosing a dwarf anyway in the first place. So, here he is here. He's a level 6 organiser, which is good, but not the best in the fortress. Our elite legendary wrestlers, Bergendorf and someone to be, are actually better organisers. Well, that would make sense. I mean, wrestlers famously have to travel a lot for their work and are constantly in a state of organising, like, travelling plans. So maybe, maybe that's what's happened. Maybe the WWE has beckoned them and trained them for me and I've just missed it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I have no idea, in fact. Excuse me, just gulping water down there without even a warning. Yes, if anyone would care to investigate the wikis and find out what happened here, because I swear, uh, am I crazy? Was Nunchaku Chaku nuts? Or did that not happen? Did I completely imagine that or misread what was happening? Anyway, we're going to take we're going to take another responsibility. He's going to stay the appraiser, trader, but we're going to take the organisation mantle off of his shoulders. Do we put it... <clears throat> Do we put it on the shoulders of a military person? Because that is going to interfere with training. However, Bergendorf is an expert organiser. Huh. And it has to be said, Bemble here is the only other person who has any organisation skills, not militarily drafted. And what do they do? What do you do for a living, Bemble? Tell me all about it. You are an administrator, a professional administrator. Really? Really? Now that's intriguing because you have a lot of or no other enabled tasks, and I've also, Bemble... Oh no, no, it's someone below you. I haven't actually re removed all of your other uh, thingies. You know what? He ain't doing any of this shit anymore. None of this stuff. Bemble, you're a full-time record... Uh, 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 whatever, you're a full... I've given you a job, Bemble. Do it! Nothing else! I refuse to allow you to do anything else. You can't even look after the sick and dying. Ah, oh, but what if his mum gets sick? Okay, I'm not that much of a heartless bastard. Although, let me just check, your mum's not an elf, is she? No, you're a dwarf, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, so, Bemble Aaron Besmar, you are going to be our manager. So let's head back to the fortress. Back to the fort! So, uh, where's our manager? There we go, manager, Nunchaku Chaku. The weight of this duty is relieved from your shoulders, although it's probably going to cause some kind of depression. He's probably going to go into a spiral because I'm taking jobs off him, isn't he? But we'll find Bemble. Where's Bemble? There he is. Bemble Aaron Besmar, the administrator, now doing what he does best, apparently. So, we now have four people requiring offices. Presumably. What does the mayor want? Oh, the mayor wants so much. He wants a decent office, decent quarters, decent dining room, two chests, one cabinet, one weapon rack, and one armour stand. I mean... Should I bother diving into the needs of my nobles right now? 
Should I be doing that? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm also slightly worried that when I look at my phone, when I'm monitoring the stream, I'm seeing just a black screen. That doesn't seem to be what I should be seeing. I'm just going to leave that and go back. Yeah, I think my phone's fully disconnected. Fuck it. I just have to do it without. Let's have no idea how many people are watching. Whatever. Uh, so let's not get too drawn into this needs madness for the mayor. He can do his job, whatever, regardless. And the captain of the guard as well. You should be training, mate. Don't worry about your bedroom and your office. Uh, so, the manager Bemble. What does he require? Does the bookkeeper require anything? We'll keep the broker happy. He's got his stuff. We'll look at the bookkeeper. What does he need? Just a meagre office. So let's find an office for Aben Dumatobok. Aben Dumatobok. You should have an office available over here. No chairs placed yet. Needs furniture hauling. Since when have we not had anyone able to haul, haul, haul furniture? We should have had someone like that. No problem. Okay. So this is Nunchaku Chaku's office. You know what? We're going to smooth the walls. We're going to prepare him for some better times. Uh, DS, I believe. That's correct. Smooth the stone. We're actually going to be smoothing the obsidian sides of the volcano itself. Perhaps the warm glow of the magma on the other side of the, the volcano's wall will shine through in a kind of soothing light. I don't know. We're going to make all of these offices better, actually. And maybe I should even dig out a couple of extra ones. We've completely abandoned the adamantine situation now, haven't we? I feel kind of bad about that. Let's put some low priority digging in just to space out some more offices. Who else is going to have an office? Someone here is going to have a nice little office. There you go, slightly bigger. Yeah, why not? Let's make a slightly bigger office than other people have. I'm sure it won't harm. It might... Ooh, two doors? Sure, two doors to the office. Why not? Have you heard about Bemble? He's got a two-door office. Uh, he's been sucking up to Jones for years. He's going to be a CEO in no time. That's the kind of thing people say to each other at urinals in 80s films with corporate villains. There you go. It puts me in mind of films such as Robocop. <laughs> Robocop? Why do I call it Robocop? Okay, these are the... Oh, are they placed the chairs? Is it the chairs that make an office? It is the chairs that make an office. There's a farmer currently eating at this table on the chair. However, we are going to make it a study. If I press the correct button. Fill the room. There we go. Let's assign the chair, and it belongs to old Bemble the manager. Oh, shit. Uh, assign the chair. Bemble Aaron Besmar. There you go, Bemble. A whole new career awaits you. Put down that weaponsmithing hammer and get, um, organising? I think that's what you were doing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Right, who else have we got? Um, so, the militia commander, the mayor, the captain of the guard, nunchaku has got one, Bemble's got one, Unib's a militia commander, Aban Dumatabok. You are our bookkeeper and you now have an office. Now let's check the noble screen. Requirement met. Does white mean better than they need? Is that, um, is that good? C. Becoming the capital. What? Oh, we can become the capital city of our civilization. Oh, that's going to bring around all sorts of new needs and requirements. So let's sort what we've got out as an issue and move on. Unib and Erib also need offices, but and much more, in fact. But we'll see what we can do about that. Mine the Adamantine, says the JC Experience. From the wiki, they are also aware of their status and do not want a lesser dwarf to have a better room. Ah, oh, shit. You have to be careful not to put scrubs in the good ones. Damn. Damn, Rando303 sees the stream and Ocelot says nine people are watching. Well, hello nine people. Congratulations, you've found my stream. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Of course, there's a, there's a small chance you won't, in which case, um, that's not much I can do about that. Unless you have any kind of obvious way to improve. I mean, let me know. Let me know. Although, things like be less shit will probably be ignored. Um, oh, well, not the microphone. That's probably something I should avoid doing, right? That'll probably make the uh, old uh, view figures skyrocket, just not knocking the microphone. Right, the engravers are getting busy. They're doing what they need to do. We need some more bins. How, how is our uh, order situation for bins going? we still got bins being ordered? No, we don't have any bins being ordered. So, let's say Q, uh, B, I, N, I wrote bun instead of bin, B, I, N, there we go. Now, what do I want? Do I want... Yep! Okay, bear with me one moment. I'm just going to have to pause the stream. Thank you very much for watching, Roman, and I'll be back. I'll just come and get them for you. Hold on.
be back, back in a sec, lads. You just enjoy this big long list of things that have the word bin in them. Bye! Hello again, I have returned. Apologies. Apologies. Ah, oh, right, yeah, I couldn't find the keys, so, uh, you know. You know what, her mum's here downstairs looking after Amy, so... <laughs> I can go and get the kids anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. Let's, um, I say kids. Kid, only one of them's at school today. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. Let's get back into the Dwarf Fortress and stop waffling, because, I mean, I left nine minutes into the recording and came back at twelve, so... Uh, that's too long. What shall we make our bins out of? We could, we could make some silver bins, but that seems like an absolutely outrageous use of silver. So let's just make wooden bins. And I think we need a lot of them, so let's put 50 in. Yeah, nice space saving tool, the bin. I do like it. Look at all this loose lead and silver. It's no good. It's no good at all. Such a shame we can't make silver armor. Mind you, we could decorate it with silver. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, enough of this amusing. Let's get back into actual adamantine acquisition, shall we? Uh, F7 is where the adamantine is, is it? Yes, F7, not F6. And our lads have to approach from above. Can I do that? Ay, 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 ay. Um... Let's just start doing what I was doing. Let's just get there the old-fashioned way. Uh, no? There we go. Well, that miner lost his mind, didn't he? He went nuts. No one's digging down here, even though it's priority one. What is this business? What are my dwarves doing? Bins need to be light. That's a very good point, Oaksalot. It doesn't make sense to make them out of silver, because silver's heavy compared to wood. <laughs> Was trying to look up what happens if you don't meet their needs, assuming it's just bad moods. Okay, Commando, cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Right, uh, they're not digging this, are they? They're fully disinterested in acquiring a... What? Oh, okay. Go up this way. There we go. So we come back up here. I don't see any dwarves knocking around. Tobal's become a Mark's Dwarf. That's fascinating, but not really important to me. Um, no, no, no. Further up past the caverns. I don't know why I'm doing this without the hotkeys. I could just skip straight back up to the surface. But I feel like it's good to explore the fortress every now and again. Get a feel for the lie of the land. Oh, hello. Let's have a little look at Super Chaser there. Have a little cry in the corner. Bit of a pity, but we'll sort something out. He's chucked all of his clothes on the floor, so... Hmm. Nudie Super Chaser. He's a real nudie Rudy. I feel like if cave moss, bear with me, if cave moss starts growing in here, we've got cave moss on the floor, no, it's just nice at the moment, but if cave moss starts growing, we could use this as our pasture. Bring everything indoors, it'd be nice. Right, back up the stairs. It's not nudity if no one can see. That's, that's fair, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow that definition, why not? 
Uh, up we go. Come on, come on. Keep going. I'm going down, aren't I? I'm fucking going down. He's going the wrong way. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, come on. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, maybe I'll check Dwarf Therapist just to make sure our miners aren't currently in a state of depression. No, they're all fine. Fine. Fine, with negative stress levels. If anything, they should be down there like, whistling away. As they say. A uh, caravan from Dishmab Kizbiz has arrived. Ooh, have we had a caravan from Dishmab Kizbiz before? I don't know, but let's unpause it and see where they are. Here they are. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's follow this lad into the fort and see what happens. There we go. He's coming across the corpse stockpile. Please don't stand on the corpse stockpile. That's very disrespectful. Good, good. Then avoid... Ah, your guard stood on the corpse stockpile. This could be a diplomatic incident. You better watch out. Things could happen here. You're already... I mean, you may be going up against our noob trader, but... Um... Hmm. Oh, masterpiece alder bins flying out from under the fingers of JC Experience. That's wonderful. Why have we paused? We haven't paused. This guy's just stopped. Oh, oh they're down there. Good. Uh, designate. Dig all that out, please. And uh, let's escape. Unpause. While he's down here, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We'll, we'll deal with the, the, the invaders. Invaders? We'll deal with the traders soon. Soon the traders will come, and they will come to buy our adamantine wares. As it wears with an A, not E. Just in case you were wondering if I meant weir creatures, we're not going to sell the weir creature. It's an awkward thing to do. I mean, he's a dwarf still, you know, it's not like he's some kind of elf. Perfectly viable for any kind of uh, awful deed you wish to uh, act out. <laughs> That's what I think about dwarves. Uh, elves anyway. Dwarves, not dwarves. Come on, dig, boy, dig. Get in there. Dee. <coughs> Come on, get in there. Diggy dig. Diggy dig. Why is he not digging? Oh, because I'm still in the mining screen. Okay. Bang. There we go. Whoa, look at that. It comes quite far away from the uh, thingamajig. So that's good. If I go up a floor, will it show me it? No. Uh, D. Boom, boom. Oh, let's take those out as well. Why not? Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Don't breach the void immediately. It's good, it's good. It's not a void breacher. It's a nice one, actually. Look at this. Boom. Get in there. Dig that out. Oh, look at that adamantine. The fortress value is increasing rapidly. The fortress value is increasing rapidly. What am I doing cutting that out? That doesn't need cutting out. That's no adamantine in there. Come on. Dig that adamantine with your pick. I presume you can't vein mine this shit. <laughs> oh, you can! Oh! Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! Oh, it didn't. Not this time. Why, why you know... Uh... Okay. Let's see what happens there. Seem to vein mine over here, but not over here. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it touched the warm stone. Touch your warm stone, sir. Cool. That should dig some stuff out. Warm stone located again. Oh no, they've not stopped. They've not stopped. Oh, he seems to not mind digging a bit more if there's uh, raw adamantine involved. Keep digging. Keep your digging. <laughs> and then there were clowns. I mean, yeah, sure, it's, it's, an, it's a distinct possibility, but we'll see what happens. Train your trader by doing several small trades, not one big one. Oh, okay, let's just designate a bit of this for the old diggeroonie. And, um, you know what, let's designate that as well. In fact, let's not, because it's just going to cause more stoppages due to warm stone location. Okay, um... <clears throat> We'll leave these lads and resume, and then we'll head up to the surface at the next hot stone designation. They're not stopping. Oh, the lads ain't stopping. Let's keep them designating. Oh, oh not that one. Whoa! <laughs> Settle down there, scoundrel. You don't want to flood the fortress with lava or magma. I think it's still underground in the fortress, right? Oh, they're abandoning it anyway. Oh, 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 oh. I've done it again. <sighs> okay, there's no diagonal entryways for magma. Good. 
Okay, right, we're going to need a new special stockpile to hold all this raw adamantine in. Uh, let's call our... What the fuck is going on here? Why? 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 You're not sticking on the pile of vomit, are you? Why can't you come in? Why are you blocking the doorway? This could be a problem. Uh, trader requested at depot. Uh, let's bring some goods up as well. There are no merchants trading right now. Okay. For some reason their wagon can't get in. What's going on? Everybody outside seems to be frozen. Minkot Thinned Floors is way out in the open. This seems like a setup. It's like one of those jobs where they, uh, they block the entryway. I mean, one of them got in. Why can't the other one get in? What's going on here? Hmm. Hello, Rices009. Rices Thanks for joining us. Welcome back. Sorry if I missed you in chat there for a while ago. It's probably just warm because there's lava above. Has Scoundrel mined any candy before? Yes, I have. Uh, a number of fortresses have been um, lost to reckless mining of candy. But, um, you know, I, I, actually, the one fortress where I got a lot of candy must have spoiled me because, frankly, I was digging out piles of the shit before I hit anywhere near a void inside it. I mean, it was absolute maniac stuff. I was just digging out tons of it. Have we had that uh, slab engraved yet? Let's go and have a look at the graveyard. I think this is fucked. They're not going to trade. They're just going to sit there forever. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Had a similar problem once. Making a wide path only solved it. Okay, okay. So maybe if I just widen out this a smidge. Do it here. Designate mine. Let's make it priority one just to get it done. That should do it. This isn't soil, is it? Oh, please don't give me a soil wall for my troubles. It's a rhyolite wall. Oh, it's just covered in all elf blood. That's why I thought it was red clay. Come on, lads. Dig, dig. Dig, dig. We've got to get this wagon in. It's overloaded. Something must be sticking out the side and got it wedged in. You can see where the dwarves are walking over it and having to slow down as they clamber past. Right, you unblock now? Boy. What's all this about, Dobar? Dobar. Come on. Your wagon's free. Do I have to do it over here as well? For fuck's sake. I don't want to dig this out because it's a door frame. Oh, they're making my entrance so ugly. What an ugly entrance. You know what? I could just dig this whole door bit out as well. We have got an, an, a, a surplus of doors here. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, X. X. The dig. The dig. 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 There we go. Come on, hopefully that will get dug out. Let's check to see if any of the adamantine's been brought up. No. Okay, I'm digging a new stockpile here for the adamantine. Oh, do it with the box designator, scoundrel. Don't be a silly nincompoop. I am an nincompoop. I am an nincompoop. I am an nincompoop. What does it even mean? There we go. That should be enough space to store all the adamantine we want. Adamantine. Oh, hello. An alpaca, a yak bull, and a yak calf are all starving. Well, if they're pulling that wagon, then I'm not surprised because they're stuck. Let's go up to the surface, head to our pastulans, and uh, add any stray dwarves that we've missed. Uh, dwarves? Um, animals. A baby alpaca, yak bull, yak calf. Don't need the turkey in there. Or a piglet. That looks like we're done. And everything's good. Everything's good. They won't starve no more. That's nice. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, could be a tree who popped up under him. Okay, maybe a tree grew in the way of the wagon. Check how far the depot access goes with D. The best wagons were the dis disintegrating wagons on my entrance. All three wagons drove into each other and vaporised. No items, nothing. They just vanished. Oh my god. That sounds like quite the cataclysm. You would, uh, you'd want that to... Uh leave you some items behind, surely. But why aren't the dwarves picking up any of this elf stuff? I know it's elf stuff, but I've, I've de-forbidden it, right? It's all reclaimable. I mean, they can't wear it, but they can store it. And maybe, you know, ditch it. Oh, it's sitting on top of a colony of ants. Uh, maybe. Wooden male shirt. I mean, elves, come on. You are not working this out properly. All right, sorry, let's get the uh, access screen up. Got access.
we've got access to it. There must be a tree popped up under him or something. Let's... I'm not seeing anything. No, let's have a look at chat. Um, this can happen when someone in the caravan gets spooked by corpses. They're supposed to pack up and leave, but it bugs out and they get stuck. So, maybe we should put a wall around the corpse stockpile? Maybe that will help? This is going to be a serious issue when the next caravan comes along. Oh shit, that's some poor stuff. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, they're not actually blocking the entryway to the fortress, but... Damn. Damn vu corpse stockpile. Damn vu. Um, build C W. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it, aren't we? Just gonna have to put a wall in all the way across there. We'll make it out of obsidian, nice obsidian wall for the corpse stockpile. It'll be lovely. Um, then we need to do another wall. But we're gonna get this one now. Is that as long as it will go? Of course it is. Make that out of obsidian as well. More wall, please. Can get into it by going round. Obsidian, of course, and then another wall. Full length. But first, designate that tree for removal. Oh, no! D T. Remove. It's being removed. No, it's not. T ay ay ay! D T. There we go. Chop down tree. Good. Fucking hell, it took long enough, didn't it? Um, what was it? It was B, C, no, B, W. Oh, for fuck's sake, what was it? Capital C. That's it. W. And then we can't place it over until it's chopped down, but that's fine, because we only need to put the corner in. Let's make it out of obsidian again. Bonk. And then we'll put it down here a bit more. This is fun stuff to watch, isn't it? I bet you're all sitting there yawning, going, Oh, goodness me, Scoundrel's doing it again! Taking forever to do anything. That should block it from sight for future lads. I've done that wrong. Shit. There we go. <clears throat> and then we just have to wait for that tree to get chopped down. And as soon as that's done, Bosh, we can stick a wall in there. And this will hopefully not happen again. Oh, some migrants have arrived. Hello, migrants. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, and I'm bored. Okay, let's stop counting. We'll wait for them to turn up, and then we'll uh, then we'll have a look at the fortress. We're getting new replacements. That's good. What's this in here? A creeping eye nail. A creeping eye mangled nail. Okay. Hamster remains and reacher skulls. Maybe the guys coming to the tavern to fight things are actually going down there. It's entirely possible that they've been doing stuff. Oh man, they're all over this wall. Look at the people flooding in and out with their little lumps of obsidian. <clears throat> Nobody using a wheelbarrow though, why not? There's all the obsidian just lying around in the fortress, it is, isn't it? Oh man, this whole area is obsidian. Shit, I didn't realise. How did I miss that? Oh look, they've dug out the little thing, that's nice. So D, I, bonk, up downstairs, one floor, and then D. There we go, that should let them reclaim any silver arrows. And then I will build, uh, what was an archery target again? Capital A. Oh, too late now, I've selected it that way now. Bonk, and we'll make it out of obsidian, like everything else I've been making lately. Cool. Cool, hopefully they will do archery. What are you currently doing? Watching a wrestling demonstration. Leading a wrestling demonstration. How are you doing that? If you're watching and you're leading, and the only other person in the room is this child playing make-believe, what's going on here? Who's actually wrestling? ay uh, as Mr Miyagi would say, ay uh. This is very awkward having these guys just sitting here. I'm sure they're either going to vaporise or prevent the entry of the next caravan to come along. Or maybe they'll just never send another caravan. It seems that when we sent them to Crypt Beards, they never returned. It might be wise to avoid trading with these monsters in the future. Have they carved my slab? Oh, 20 rock slabs completed. And we've done engraving? 
Did the engraving get done? Let's find out. I did it at this Craftsdorf workshop, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. So now we want to build a slab in the graveyard. So build slab. Oh, S. No, I won't remember that. Never mind. Let's bung a slab here at the end of the row. Here we go. And which one? Can I look at them individually or see? X expand contract. What's this? Ah. Okay. So we can view the item and find out which one. Okay, that's not it. This is going to take a while. That's not it. That's not it. Can we actually see if any of them have been engraved? No. No. Okay. No. 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 A superior quality microcline slab. We're not seeing anything exciting here. It looks like the engraving may not have been done yet. But why? I, I put the order in. I see chat moving from the corner of my eye. Bollocks. Why no engraving then? Hello, Perky Pingu. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Oafsalot, what CPU does Scoundrel use? I'm using a Ryzen 1700X, slightly overclocked. Not too much. Oh, Plutonium Jesus, I see you've turned up as well. Thanks for joining us. Much apologies for missing you there. This can happen... You said what I read out, and I didn't even know it was you. Plutonium Jesus, I apologise. It shows exactly how much attention I'm paying at the moment. Now I'm absorbed in my fortress almost 100%. Uh, engraved slab has a name. Those are blank ones. Okay, race races. Cheers. Cheers. I keep accidentally nearly calling you racist. I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful there. Those accusations won't be taken well, I don't think. Uh, which version are we playing? We're still on uh, 4410, although once this one goes, we're on to the next. We're on to 4411, unless something else comes out in the interim. Uh, right, let's go into the orders. Can I can I get my manager to order an engraved slab? Q E N G R. No. Maybe if I type in slab. Oh shit! What have I done? Uh, oh J M Q. Okay, S L. A, B. No, they can only construct from here. We have to go to a Crafts Dwarf workshop in order to actually get them to engrave. But that's fine. That's fine. I can do that. Add a new task. Um, engrave memorial slab. Let's add it back. Imush, you're the lad who has no rest. He's got no chill. Everyone else entombed. Okay, let's get that ghost engraving done. In fact, let me just do something important. Let me go here. Go down here. Uh, we're going to promote the task, boop, boop. and then I'm going to say, in fact, no, N, do the task now. That's it. Good. Do I make someone really good do it? Oh god, it's too much effort. Let's just wait and see. Let's see what happens. Watch the workshop, and then presumably our memorial slab will sort the ghost situation out no problem. Oh, did someone just... Oh, here we go, here we go. Someone's going in there. Nope, they're going in the jeweler's workshop. They're bringing jewels up. Okay. Okay, they still haven't dug out the adamantine storeroom, but fingers crossed they'll get that stuff up here and we'll start working it soon. It would be nice. It would be very nice to get the adamantine... Well, I say topside, but sort of near topside where we live. That would be good. Why did I make so many fucking floodgates? I made... Like, I, must, I thought I made 20, but I appear to have made about 200 obsidian floodgates for no avail. Mind you, if we ever decide to actually get round to making that obsidian, um, making that uh, magma uh, lava moat, we should uh, need a few obsidian floodgates. Orthoclays armor stand, microcline slab, granite slab. We've got loads of slabs knocking around, but nobody engraving the bastards. Do we need an engraver to do it, or is it done by a craft dwarf? That's a good question. We haven't got any engraving designated, so I don't know why anyone would be not free to do it. Everywhere that was going to be engraved has been engraved, right? Hmm, maybe not. We've got no metal objects to melt. Well, that's a tragedy, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, uh, back up to the surface. Quick check. They're still not digging out this goddamn elite barracks, but we've got some space to put beds in, so we may as well do that. Let's pop the beds in the little alcoves, as I have been doing. Uh, maybe some armour stands for them too. Armour stand, armour stand, armour stand. May as well put that one there. You know what? Put that one there as well. And this one here. And this one here. 
and then we'll put the rest in later. Weapon rack. <laughs> okay, this is a bit of a somewhat cramped barrack. They are going to need somewhere else to actually do their training, but it's getting there. It's getting there, don't you worry, no. Okay, um... Which version are you? Oh, sorry, the chat hasn't actually moved. I gazed over and thought, this is all new, and apparently not. We do have our glitched caravan here that's causing me quite the annoyance. Part of me wants to attack them, but they're from the mountain home, so... Brrr, what to do? What to do? That is the question. Everything's looking pretty fly down in the temple zone. Maybe I should add some more to the temple. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say, let's make the Masianic ch Chapel all this tunnel area as well. Can I add? No, you can't draw. Just got to keep... Uh... Oh, shit. No, no that's going to be too difficult. I've made... I've, I've fucked it up. I've made a shape that's too complex. Let's uh, click on this one. Remove zone. Donkey, donkey, bank. There we go. No, no, don't do that. That's it. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We need more bookcases in the library as well, don't we? Save and reload. Uh, use flow, not rectangle. Oh, right. Okay, can I do that? I, E. Oh, look at you. You little genius. Oh, come on. Give me a break. All right, we'll try it from down here. It's not going to go all the way around, but it'll give us some more even coverage. There we go. So that's good. Enter, place, uh, meeting area, assign location, and do we add to the Messianic Chapel, or do we make this a separate chapel? Because we have the outer chapel, the inner chapel, which is all denominations. All denominations are accepted in the inner chapel, but maybe we could uh, add another different temple here, an outer temple for a more specific god. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. Let's add a temple. The front temple. Let's see what we've got. Um, we've got fire and wealth, muck, rebirth and strength, fortresses, mountains and caverns. Now they're a popular deity. 85, worshipping wealth and jewels. You bloody greedy dwarves. Datan has 56 worshippers. Earth, volcanoes, fire, the sun, day. Nice. Osod. Murder. Okay. Sure. No worshippers. Sure. Theft and trickery. No worshippers. 65 worshippers of nightmares and the night, which does look a bit weird. Shis, the um, god of valor, war and chaos, has 17 worshippers. Iger has 79. I think that's the biggest so far, isn't it? No, no, no. 85 for Atir. I go with the seasons is fairly popular though. 77 for lakes, fish, oceans, the weather. 66 for writing. 84 for fame and gambling. That's is that still not quite the highest, but close. 87 worshippers for family. Okay, we can make it a family temple. That would be nice. One worshipper for nature and rivers, the seasons, volcanoes, strength. Minerals got three. Oceans and fish have one. 98 worshippers for rebirth and death. I think this looks like the most popular Right, who was... Yeah, 87 was the previous... I think we're going to have to make this rebirth and death for those worshippers. Maybe we could do that in the hospital. Make that also a hospital stroke temple. That's interesting. Sacrifice, generosity, charity and thunder. Two worshippers. Figures. Two worshippers of torture and misery. Okay. Five of victory and three of caverns. Old Simo the cavern dwarf. Cavern dwarf? Cavern god. Okay, that temple, outer temple, I'm going to assign to the god of family. 87 worshippers. Gertol scooped baby. There we go. The shrine of seams. And then here, I'm going to say... Boop. And we're going to... Oh, that's no good. That's no good. Cancel, cancel. We're going to say boop. There we go. And then we're going to plus it. And... That should be good. Enter. Now this one, we're going to make a sl sort of slightly secret tomb. Tucked out around the back. Tomb? Temple, that's the word. Temple. Ica, the royal sport of fathering. Hmm. We'll have to check out his name. Is that what he was called? The royal sport of fathering. He's an interesting sounding fella. Uh, M, this one, is going to be a location. Another little temple. 
a little temple, uh, add a location, uh, T for temple, and it's going to be for, what do we go for? Do we go for sacrifice, generosity, and thunder? You know what, let's find one of the darker ones. Let's find one of the weird ones. I mean, we could have the fame and gambling worshippers at the back. Writing, the seasons, valor, nightmares and the night. You know what? I think this guy, not goal, gets a look in. There we go. The Sanctuary of Filths. Good Lord. Okay, and now in the hospital, we also make this a meeting place, assign a location, and we're going to add another temple. And this one is going to be the god of rebirth and death. There we go. Who was... Was it Ica? No. Ica, the royal sport of fathers. Kems are the zephyr of breathing. Ruined beguiled. Rulership, Islaz. Rebirth and death. There we go. Subi! You've got a temple. The new church. Lovely. Let's have a look at the hospital information. We've got thread. We've got cloth. We've got splints. We've got crutches. We've got powder for casts. We've got buckets. We don't have soap yet because soap is a toughie. It's a difficult one. Maybe we could also make this a temple. Is there a god of reading and writing and learning? Holy shit, I am multi-purposing this entire fortress from now on. Um, let's have, it's already a meeting area. Where is that? No, it's a meeting area. We will make it another location, which is L. You fool. Eight active, okay, L, there we go. Uh, we're gonna add a location. It's gonna be another goddamn temple. We're gonna, we're really dealing with the religious here. We're sort of, giving them every opportunity to pray because a lot of them seem to have problems getting that opportunity so we'll see what happens it does seem that the non-denominational part of the temple is fairly packed and absolutely lined with uh, things uh something to do with right ah writing there you go 66 worshippers boom the oracular chapel beautiful beautiful let's have a look here tomb temple same same says rando i suppose in some cases that is true voliol says that's a really big pantheon do you think some of the followers of the smaller gods are human immigrants and the like that's possibly true good point good point does it do, do we have any way of distinguishing between the human and dwarven gods you know what i'm open i'm open to having lots of different gods worshipped in the fortress and it makes sense i mean realistically we do need to make a temple to the volcano god right and it has to look out on the volcano from the from from height right do we have a really high oh look at that we have got a really high volcano edge all around here so maybe i'm thinking dig out like an entire floor where's the first completely now there's loads of soil that's the problem if we go higher yeah i look an obsidian floor but we've lost the edge of the volcano there a bit disappointing you know what we could do oh Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting a little tingle from this idea. Okay, here's the idea. We dig a little channel that comes down and meets the edge. We make a temple here with a hole coming through the middle that pumps lava all the way up into a lava waterfall which falls down into the volcano over next to which we have our little pits to throw the victims in, the sacrifices to the volcano god. Hang on a minute. That's going to kill my frame rate. What am I doing? That's a mad idea. Although not that mad. We could do that. I like to make all the gods statues and then make temples with those statues as the centerpiece for the room. That sounds good, Ophsalot. Maybe I should look at making some specific statues. I'm not sure how you do it. Hopefully none of those damn elf gods. That's true, Rando. If they are elf gods, then god or not, they're going in the volcano. Remember the fire imps might crawl up to your temple, then through the worshippers of the volcano god, the, though the worshippers of the gate... <laughs> Try reading, scoundrel! Remember, the fire imps might crawl up into your temple then, though the worshippers of the volcano god would probably love that. They probably would. That's a good point. Although, having said that, we have already opened the volcano cone, as it were. As if you look here, we've got open edges already. And even then, they could just climb to the very top and come over the top, right? Maybe we should floor in the entire volcano at the upper level and have like special... Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea, you know. This bit doesn't need to be opened anymore. We can wall this off. I'm going to put a wall in there. Okay, we're, we're talking volcano management now, even though I was reasonably confident that this was going to be the end of the fortress, but we'll give it a go. Uh, shift C. No, what was it? To... It's build, not designate. Build, Shift C, W. I'm going to pop a wall in there. You know what? I'm not going to pop it there, like an idiot. I'm going to pop it here, right by that door, so the guy can't stand on the other fucking side. Aha! No one's getting locked in my little volcanic area. Uh, this will build a wall here. W, wall placement, please. Could I have two? Come on. There we go. 
too. That can go there. Also made out of obsidian. Bonk. Then we need to wall off. We just need to wall this tunnel off here, don't we? So we'll do that. W, U, enter, make it out of obsidian. Please stand on the correct side as well, you fucking morons. Uh, upper floor. Oh, there's still mining to be done on this area. That's... You know what? We're not safe. We'll never be safe. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and revisit this because this is already getting to be a bit nuts. The Volcano God Temple is maybe for the next fortress when we actually implement the, implement the volcanic burial rites. That makes sense, right? I know. I remember uh, earlier on, old uh, JC Experience did mention a save and reload. Maybe we should do that. I have been recording for 45 minutes at least. So those of you watching the YouTube channel, the YouTube video, thank you very much for doing so. Like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. But of course, primarily, just watch. Enjoy. Well, no, enjoy. Because I wouldn't want to think you were watching and not enjoying it. That would be strange. Like I'm somehow torturing people inadvertently, which I wouldn't want to do. That doesn't seem very nice. If I'm torturing people, I want to be doing it deliberately in the room and enjoying the results. <laughs> oh, dark. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, YouTubers. I won't torture you, I promise. And I'll see you next time. Bye.